So my, we already forgot the slope, minus three. The, minus three is the coefficient of x, so we put down the x right here. Now we have to figure out where the y is actually intercepting. If you see right here, we cannot find where it's actually intercepting the y because in this line, this line is only intercepting our x-axis, not our y-axis. So we have to figure that out. Well, what I mean by like intercepting y is that when the x is zero, when the x-axis, the value is zero, then what is the y? That is what we're gonna place right here. So now I'm going to figure that out. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today I'm going to show you how to figure out equations from two sets of coordinates. So for example, let's say that we have the uh, one of the pairs of coordinates is let's say minus two and then minus four, right? And my other one is let's say minus five and maybe five, right? So now I'm going to take these two sets and I'm going to grab them on my graph right here. So here's minus two and that's minus four. So that means this is my minus two, my minus four, right? Now we have another one, minus five and five, right? So here is it minus one, two, three, four, five. Here's my minus five, right? And then one, two, three, four, five. Here's my five, right? So that means this, right, is my point. And so let me write, that is our minus five, five, right? Now I'm going to draw the line. Um, it has, it's gonna be something like that. It's not perfect, it's gonna be something like that, okay? Now, as remember, I told you in the beginning of the video that I'm going to show you how to figure out equations from these two sets of coordinates. Well, now I'm going to show you. But in that, like in the equation, there's actually three types of equations that we can do. So one is called uh, y in slope intercept form. Another one is called point slope form. And the other one, the third one is the standard form. Today, I'm going to show you all of them using these two coordinates, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you the first type of equation, which is the slope intercept equation, right? So first, let me erase this. And now, and then I'm going to show you what actually the basic equation is, and then we're going to place all the values. So when you actually want to do a slope intercept form, right? Then what you want to do is y, because you want to do the y intercept. Y intercept, so y is equals to your slope. A slope, you always refer to as m, right, slope, and that is the coefficient of x, so mx, plus your b. b is actually where the y is in, where the y is actually intercepting, right? So now I'm going to, okay, my coordinates are minus two, minus four, and minus five, five, right? So now I'm going to place them y is equals to we need the slope right we can easily figure out the slope from this graph so um we always have to do delta y divided by delta x so my delta y is negative one two three four five six seven eight nine right so my delta y is uh here let me write down right here delta y is a negative nine while my delta x is Right, so if you go down right here, you go down like that, up here, um, yeah, and then one, two, three. So my delta x is three. Now, if you do minus nine divided by three, you will get that your slope or your m, which slope is referred to as m, your slope is minus three, right? So my, we already forgot the slope, minus three. The, minus three is the coefficient of x, so we put down the x right here. Now we have to figure out where the y is actually intercepting. If you see right here, we cannot find where it's actually intercepting the y because in this line, this line is only intercepting our x-axis, not our y-axis. So we have to figure that out. Well, what I mean by like intercepting y is that when the x is zero, when the x-axis, the value is zero, then what is the y? That is what we're gonna place right here. So now I'm going to figure that out. Okay, so let's find out what the b is. 
First, uh, to complete this equation, we'll just write down like plus b because we're going to figure out the b now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a type of chart. Okay, so we drew the chart. Now, this is going to be my y-axis part. This is going to be my... Uh, this is my this is gonna be my x-axis part. This is gonna be my y-axis part, right? So when the x is minus two, then that the y is minus four, right? When the x is minus five, then the y is five, right? So as you can see here, the change is three, and we also can figure out from that the x is change the delta x equals to three, right? And here the change is negative. Oh, one second. Um, sorry. Uh, here, let me write down so you can get, you guys can see. The change right here is negative nine, right? So now, uh, if I do, if I go, if I increase by three again, I'm gonna reach right one in my x-axis. And here, I'm going to reach minus thirteen. Why? Because minus four uh, plus nine is minus thirteen, right? And so now. What I'm going to do, oh, sorry, minus 4 minus 9 is minus 13. Now, what I'm going to do is that uh, we have to reach to 0. Our x has to be 0 in order for, to, uh, for us to figure out our b. Now, we already know that when it decreases by 1, when, uh, then uh, the, so this change is minus 3. So, right, then this will be minus 10. So, now we already figured out what our b is. Our b is minus 10. So, let me write that down. y is equals to minus 3x plus Oh, sorry, minus 10, right? So this is um, minus 10, right? And this is actually our slope-intercept equation. Isn't that cool? Well, I just showed you one of the types of equations. Now I'm going to show you the next one. The next one is also a really cool one. Uh, it is called the point slope fork. And then I'm going to show you the basic foundation. And then I'll place all my coordinates and then I'll show you that what the equation actually is with the coordinates placed in their spots, right? So this is called the point slope form. The other one that I just showed you was um, slope intercept form. This is point slope form, right? So now the basic foundation is actually y minus y1 is equals to our slope. Remember, our slope is m, right? That's what, we, that's what we're going to call it. So m, and then in the parentheses, x minus uh, x1, okay? Or some people even write y minus uh, b is equals to m, in the parentheses, x minus a. Some people even write that. But what we're going to follow is this basic foundation, okay? So, our coordinates, let me write that down again, is minus 2 with a minus 4 and minus 5 with 5, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to write that y minus, right? So, a y1, um, this is my y2. This is my x2, and this is my y1. This is my x1, okay? So y1, we just said that we have to place that y1, which is minus 4, right? So now if we do that, minus times minus is actually plus. So let's erase the, uh, parent, the in parentheses, and let's write down y plus 4, y plus 4. Remember, we were... Uh, Sorry, we were supposed to write down y minus, but why did we write why did we write plus? Because y minus minus four minus times minus is plus. That's why y plus four is equals to our slope. Remember, in our uh, slope intercept form, we already figured out our slope was minus three, right? So that's how we could also figure it out from the graph. I already did it, and then we're in parentheses. We're gonna write down x x one. If we see right here, I just showed you that our x1 right here is minus 2. y minus, the operation is minus, minus 2, right? So if we do that, then minus times minus, which is actually plus, so y plus 2. And then that's going to be the end of our equation, y plus 2, right? So this is our, this is our equation.
Now, I want to show you again that the operation was supposed to be minus here. Operation was supposed to be minus here also. But since there were negative numbers, I multiplied minus with minus. So minus times minus is plus. That's why I wrote down the plus right here. And the same case goes to this one. So this is our point slope form. It was easy, right? And it's also very cool. Now, I just show you our second type of equation that we can write down with any two sets of coordinates, right? And now I'm going to show you our third and final one, which is called the standard form. Let me write that down. Standard form, right? Now I'm going to show you the basic uh, you know, platform, the basic equation. It's ax plus by is equals to c. There is no slope right here. You can't even figure out the slope from here because here it's just the um, xy coordinates with uh, the coefficients of the xy and then the result, right? So now I'm going to write down again that it's minus 2 minus 4 with, and then that's one set, and the other set is minus 5, 5, right? Okay, so now what we need to do to figure this out is we, and we have to get one of the equations that we solved earlier and use that to help us figure out the standard form. Otherwise, it's not really going to happen, right? So if you see when we did, if you remember, when we did the slope-intercept form, the very first one, the very first type of equation, our equation was uh, y here. y is equals to minus 3x minus 10, right? We're going to use this to figure this out. So now what we have to do is first we have to put the ax. This is our x. We can simply just move that here. So then that will be uh, 3x, right? Not minus 3x, 3x. And then our y is already here. So plus y is equals to, we already have our c right here, minus 10. And it's that easy. This is our equation. So these are the three types of equations that you can do with two sets of coordinates. I hope you all like this video and I hope you all learned about it. Thank you and assalamu alaikum. So now as you can see, with just these two sets of coordinates, minus 2, minus 4, and minus 5, 5, we, we did the graph, we drew the graph, and we also drew the line, and then plus, we also figured out the three types of equations. So what I'm trying to say here is if we have the two sets of coordinates, we can do anything. We can write down any of the uh, types of equations and we can even draw a graph. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all learned about it. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.